Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, I'm going to be replacing some noisy bearings on a set of the T-Motor F60s. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you the basic process of it and try and give you a few clues to save you a headache or two down the road. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is pull the motor bell off. Uh, with this, the C-clip is not the easiest thing to get off. I've done it once or twice, so I make it look easy here, but it takes a while your first time. Uh, I'm using a 3mm flathead uh, just to pry in there. It fits right in the two grooves there, and you just got to start on one edge and work it around. Uh, pro tip, throw it inside of a Ziploc bag, so if it does go flying, it doesn't go very far. So this time I'm going to be reusing a C-clip and washer from an old damaged motor that I can't reuse. Uh, this one hit a fence pole a little bit too hard. Uh, it doesn't hurt whenever you take anything apart. Inspect it as you go. Make sure that the shaft is nice and straight so when you put it back together you're not fixing one issue when you have another one behind it. Next we're going to be re removing the old bearings. On this motor one of them has already been removed but it's the same process for both of them. One thing you have to be careful about is not to scratch the race boss or where the bearing actually rests inside the motor. If you don't have punches available, you can use a 3mm bolt as well. Alright, so an important thing to think about is when you remove the bearing, you don't have to worry about damaging it. When you install the bearing, it's something you have to keep in mind though. The proper way to install the bearing is by applying the force around the outer race or the part of the bearing that is in touch with the motor. If you press on the inner race, you have the possibility of damaging or pushing the ball bearings into the outer race and causing a dent. This will cause noise in a brand new bearing on a motor that you just replaced, which is a huge headache. Another good habit you can pick up is inspect everything as you go. Look at the stator, look at the windings, make sure there's no burn marks from excessive heat, uh, make sure there's no scrapes on the outside of the stator there where the magnets might be scraping against it, and you also want to check the boss where the bearing is going to be pressed into. Just make sure you're applying a majority of the force to the outer race. You'll know when it seats down in there. It's also good to make sure you look as you're taking everything apart so you know when it's fully seated. The lower bearings kind of clicks into place and it's a little bit easier to tell when it's fully seated. Be careful not to apply force to the windings of the motor. You don't want to bend anything and create a short. The lower bearing is a little bit more difficult because it's recessed in the base of the motor. Here I'm going to use the old bearing to apply force to the outer race when I'm pressing it in. You can also use a small socket from like a quarter inch drive uh, to get it into place as well. You just want to make sure that you don't press in the inner race. If you're not sure if you have the bearing seated all the way, it's not too hard to check. You can just pull the bell from the top of the motor, slide it into place, and see where the retaining clip is going to slide into it and make sure you have enough space to get it in there. From here, it's just a matter of giving everything back together how you took it apart. Again, you want to make sure that you don't bend the C-clip too far open, otherwise you're going to have issues with it staying in place. This is the 3mm flathead or the other end of a double zero Phillips from the standard tool you find at most hobby shops. Uh, it works best, it's almost the perfect size to fit in that groove and get it over the shaft without bending it too much. After you get the C-clip seated in the retaining slot on the shaft, it's pretty much done. Uh, it doesn't hurt to make sure it's in there very good. You don't want to lose the top of your motor bell when you're out flying.
All right, to kind of summarize everything for you, uh, the main things you got to remember is when you remove the bearings, don't scratch the boss or where they come out of on the motors. Uh, you want to make sure you don't pry the C-clip too far open that it won't stay in place when you're done. And you also want to make sure when you install the new bearings, you don't damage them. Apply the force on the outer race, not the inner race when you're going in. Uh, if you do these steps, you can save yourself a lot of money. Six bucks for a set of bearings is a lot cheaper than $25 for a new motor. Hopefully this helped. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll do my best to answer any questions in the comments.